You're a good girl, I'm getting out. I see you, I see you. It's time to get out. This is her territory, we'll play by her rules and that's pretty obvious, get out. Funko Pop to show you. Probably the last one I'm gonna get before Christmas and it was one I wasn't expecting. It arrived yesterday and I have already unboxed it. I wasn't sure what it was when it came yesterday afternoon and I opened it and it turned out it was a Funko Pop and it was my Secret Santa present from, yes, another Secret Santa, not a Funko one or a YouTube one, just one that I've been involved in for, God, I think this is the fifth year that I've been doing this one now, with a bunch of friends that I've known since the early days of the live streaming app Periscope, although the vast majority of them never or rarely use Periscope anymore, but they've all kept in touch and follow each other on Twitter and so on. Really fun being a part of that every Christmas. I did record a bit of this unboxing, but I didn't film it like I was filming a YouTube video. This was just for like a dozen people in a WhatsApp group. So um, I'll put a bit up on screen, but it wasn't like how I would normally do an unboxing video. But as it's a Funko Pop, and this is a YouTube channel where I like to show what Funko Pops that I've bought recently, or been given in this case, then I will show it you in this video. And it is this one. Steve Irwin. G'day, Cobbe. Or something that's a little bit cliched regarding Australians. I was really shocked when I got this. Steve Irwin, the crocodile hunter. So it's in the pop television range. It's number 921. And the logo there is of Australia Zoo, home of the crocodile hunter. Of course, I'm familiar with Steve Irwin, I know who he was. It wasn't someone I was particularly into, but it was just really cool to get a Funko Pop from someone in this Secret Santa. My Secret Santa, in this particular one this year, was a great friend, Paul, and thank you so much, Paul, for this. I had no idea, Paul, that you even knew I collected Funko Pops. Perhaps, Paul, you are a secret viewer of my channel. But either way, you must have found out somewhere. Brilliant. This was such a surprise yesterday. I couldn't believe it. Like, oh wow, Funko Pop. Because a lot of the gifts we give each other in this Secret Santa are kind of jokey. Although I made a real effort with mine this year for this one. Because this was the same one in which I asked Abigail Barry to paint a portrait for the guy I was giving to. The man who I painted the portrait. Yep, that's the painting. Brilliant painting. I think your name is... Yes, it's Daryl. Yeah. Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> it begins with a D. It, it does begin with a D. Yes, it does like baby. Are you going to put a picture up? Or a picture? Oh, yes, I can put a picture up. <laughs> oh, wow. That's amazing. <laughs> it's like wearing a Heinz, wearing a Beans t shirt. Look, a Beans shirt. That's actually really quite impressive. <laughs> I'll do pose. It's not a calendar. It's a an actual work of art. But yeah, Steve Irwin, the late Steve Irwin, how long ago was it when he died? Uh, oh, Ten years? Or a bit under, maybe? I'm not sure. Because I've not really been a fan of his as such. I don't really know. But I think this is a really cool pop. I've not got it out the box yet either, so I think I will do that now. I think this will be an inbox pop for me. Like I say, it's not one that I would have bought for myself, but it's a gift, and I really like it. It's going in my collection, because it looks cool. 
here is the crocodile hunter steve Irwin. i believe there's a chase edition of this also available he's got blonde hair quite straggly he's wearing his trademark green shirt and shorts he's wearing brown and black boots and of course he's holding that'll be a baby crocodile i would have thought because a bigger crocodile is probably about twice the size of that look at the little croc there with his teeth I do like pops like this where they come with like something extra. They're properly holding something where there's the whole other level of detail. Not sure what the chase one looks like actually, but I wouldn't have thought it was any cooler than this. Sometimes I prefer the commons to the chasers, even though the chase is obviously more a rarer figure. In the case of Twinkie the Kid that I've got, I deliberately bought the common rather than the chase because I thought the common was nicer. So. I won't automatically go for the chase every time just because it's the rarer thing. It'll depend on how the pop itself looks. But yeah, Steve Irwin, the Crocodile Hunter from Australia. Excellent stuff. It was a massive surprise for me to get this yesterday. Thank you so much, Paul. Brilliant stuff. I have emailed Paul to say thank you for this. And hopefully you will see this video or the other little WhatsApp video that I did for the whole Secret Santa group, or both. And I will put this in an ATV pop protector after I finish filming this. And put him probably with my miscellaneous pops up there, the likes of Batman and Hillary Clinton. What a team. This will probably be my last video on my channel now until after Christmas. I'm sure I'll be back very soon afterwards doing something or other. I'll hopefully get something out before the new year. Not sure what yet. I do know some things that are coming up in the new year though. Got a new episode of my Top of the Pops reaction series coming very early in January. Look out for that one pretty much only a few days after the new year and the new decade has kicked off. I know I've got a couple of really cool vaulted pops coming from Glass Shelf Collectibles fairly early in January, maybe the second week of January they might be here. I'm still waiting on some pre-orders and of course there will be the usual impulse purchases, random purchases and I'll be looking out for vinyl records and other music things. It'll basically be the same as it's always been throughout 2019, throughout 2020 hopefully if everything is alright with YouTube in general. And of course probably the most important thing the JB700 giveaway. If by some chance I do reach 700 before Christmas Day, I'm not going to hold my breath because that's two days away and I'm still 10 or so off that target. But you never know, it could happen. But I will of course do that draw as soon as I can if we get there. Even if it's on Christmas Day somehow, I will make sure I get that draw done and then the pop sent out to the winner of the JB700 giveaway as soon as I'm able to. But thank you all for watching this year. It's been a fantastic year for me on YouTube. I've started on Patreon and I've got some really generous supporters. All the information about that is in the description. But I've made lots of friends and just I cherish all my subscribers. As I've said before, the only way is up. I wanna keep this channel growing as best that I can and keep making the best content for all of you. And all I need you to do is just keep on supporting me, keep on watching the videos, keep on liking the videos, keep on commenting, and just keep being a part of the Jimmy Barnes squad of champions. I of course do have links for Funko Pop and Funko Protector discounts down in the description too, all the good stuff is there. But I am gonna go now and put Mr. Steve Irwin, the Crocodile hand I keep doing that voice, don't I? in a pop protector and then put him with my other inbox pops. I hope you all have a wonderful Christmas time and a fantastic new year. And here's to a really great 2020, a brand new decade. Let us do it. And I will see you very shortly for my next video. Cheers everyone. See ya!